What's good everybody, welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to add tonal interest with your Copic markers. To those of you who don't know what tonal interest is, it's basically colored light shining upon an object to make artwork look more interesting to look at. If it doesn't make sense to you now, just watch the rest of the video and then you'll get a clear understanding of what it is. In the past, I made a video about adding tonal interest. In the video, I demonstrated how to uh, blend a base color with a light color and how to add a color in between. This way, I'm going to show you how to do it differently and it's going to be a whole lot easier. So let me get started with it. So for this video, I'm just going to demonstrate how to do it with the skin and then I'm going to time lapse the rest of the drawing for the sake of the video. So for the skin, I'm going to use E23 as the base color, E37 and E29. And then for the light color, since this uh, little star here is pink, I'm going to use RV04 because it's kind of a very saturated pink and it's also a really light pink. So I'm just going to use this for the light. Now let me zoom in on the skin so we can get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my light color and I'm just going to go over the areas that I want the light to be shining upon. So I'm just going to go over the edges of the face because I want light shining upon there. And that's where the light is coming from, that color light. It's being shining upon the face, so this edge of the face will be where the colored light is being shined on. And also, I can do this part of the hat too, but um, like I said, I'm just doing the skin, or coloring the skin, and then I'm just going to time lapse the rest of the drawing. And then the neck here can also have some colored light on it. And then I'm just going to do that with the rest of the rest of this part okay now that we got the colored light we won't need it anymore so we can just set that aside now we can take our base color for the skin and, and I'm using E23 so I'm just gonna color that in I'm just gonna use a chisel tip marker and I'm just gonna go over the edges of this light just so I don't have to worry about it while I'm coloring going into that light and messing up the drawing Okay, now that we got the base color in place, we can start to add some shade. Just do what you would normally do if you're used to coloring with Copic markers. Just, uh, when you're doing this technique, keep in mind that the shades are going to come from here. Because it's, um, since this is a light color and we're just adding some shades to this side, it's going to be sort of a contrast between light to dark somewhat. But when we're finished, you can get a better understanding. So let me go in with the shade. I'm going to use E29. And I'm just going to work from dark to light coming in here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because we already have our base color. And then if we add our mid-tone, it wouldn't be too hard to blend into that original base tone that we had. It. And see that contrast? We're going from light and then dark and then back to light, sort of. So let me go in with our mid-tone. Start to add some shades. And when we, if you're going in with this mid-tone, you can also go in with, to this other side and shade, shade over here shade over the edges like this and then go back with your original base tone and blend everything back in so that's basically how you add tonal interest with your Copic markers doing it this way and see with that transition from light to dark and then back to light it's kind of a little bit of interesting to look at so let me time lapse the rest of the illustration so you can see the entire illustration with my technique in action in the building Nick. so this is how you add tonal interest with markers if I made it seem confusing in the beginning then here is a better understanding of what the technique I use to use tonal interest in uh, my artwork if you like this video and you find it useful give it a like and a comment subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and I'll see you guys in my next video I can't let a nigga like